Welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Anime Review Part 13. This one I'm covering the Majin Buu arc. Co and this covers the anime episodes 252 to 200, 232, 253. Yeah, this one covers roughly 22 episodes. The next arc also does pretty much the same thing. Yeah, this staff from chapters 460 to 483. Yeah, roughly a 24-chapter arc adapted for 22 episodes. Now, in case you're wondering, is there any filler in this thing? Uh, for what I could tell, no. I don't think that there is. When it is for Kai, they didn't really lower it on very much. No, not really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, this arc picks up exactly where the last arc left off, with the Maju egg hatching and hatches and... We see the debut of the Majibu character. Big lumpy guy with a vest. Big baggy pants. And he wears a cape. Yeah, the whole appearance of the, this is actually... He said he actually killed... Now, the whole thing about Majibu's appearance... Yeah, it's not actually revealed here. No. It's... Say, they don't really show the backstory in the show... Well, from basically show looking at this. They don't show exactly what exactly happened... Like, he's able to stream plants, but how he got the current appearance, yeah, that's not explained later. Yeah, we have basically, well, Shin basically being beaten up by Majin Buu. He basically nearly went into a pulp. Gohan basically fights him briefly, and then he is launched, like, far away, and he remains unconscious for quite a period, quite a long period of time. As for what's going on with... Trunks and Goten, they go off, basically, see what's going on, and we see that Piccolo and Krillin, well, they actually knock over the Piccolo statue, and after, after the stat, after the demon is defeated, the king of demons, yeah, he's killed by Majin Buu, yeah, first he knocked a bunch of rocks, and Majin Buu basically just turns him into a cookie and then eats him. Yes, Majin Buu can do this, because he loves sweets, so... Yeah, Shin disappears. Yeah, they don't show exactly when and where he got up and start walking away, but he did. And with the, with the, and then here's the thing, we have it where Goku is knocked out. Goku basically knows what the heck is on, and he gets knocked out by Vegeta. So Vegeta just takes the last hit to me, heals himself up, and goes to fight Goku. You know, he he even brainwashed by Bobbity in the previous arc. He basically gets the big M is for. Basically, the M is a symbol. Why in the world the M is a symbol for? It's never actually explained why. It just that it is. And Vegeta himself later fights Majin Buu, and then he sees, and of course he gets tangled by Majin Buu, and thanks to King Adina's basically being defeated, like he being killed. Krillin turns back, no one, no problem. And Piccolo is able to restore himself back to normal off screen because it's revealed that if his head is intact, he's able to regenerate all his limbs, no problem. Yep, that's how he works. It's just that, oh, he got knocked over and smashed. And the next thing, oh, yeah, he's perfectly fine. Yep. Then, pretty much, then when, when Vegeta gets tangled up, basically Trunks kicks Majin away, untangles Vegeta. And then, and then Vegeta basically thinks, like, yeah, he needs to redeem himself. So, he decides to ask Trunks to give him a hug, because he's ne he actually hasn't held him since he was a baby. He's never held him, not, never once. So, he gives him a hug, and then he proceeds to knock him unconscious. And then he knocks Goten unconscious, gives him g gives the, the two the Piccolo, and they, of course, he proceeds to fire away fly away and then Ma and then Vegeta basically self-destructs. Yep, he self-destructs. And by the way, he does this again in the Universal Survival Tournament, though it completely opposite happens. That one he actually lives. This one he actually dies. And he remains dead for a pretty good period of time. He did I think he's dead up until like the very next saga of the show. Which is basically confusion. Yep. And like Majin Buu basically is like, they have to get away from him as quickly as possible. But in the case of the Dragon Balls themselves, well, they're retrieved by... And, of course, Goku basically goes up to the top. And he doesn't fight Majin Buu. He's surprised, basically, how powerful he is. So, basically, 
Goku, Piccolo, Krillin, Goten, and Trunks basically go to the top. But go basically, Piccolo tells Goku what happened with Vegeta, and possibly what happened to Gohan. Gohan is past. Everybody thinks he's dead. Yep, everybody thinks he's dead. And like they used the Dragon Balls to revive everybody who was killed by Vegeta. Pretty much, pretty much everybody was killed, including Kabito. Yep. And he goes out, finds the Supreme Kai, and then the Supreme Kai, and they go find Gohan, and instead of healing him there, they take him to the Supreme Kai planet, where he's there to unsheath the Z Sword. Yep, this becomes a minor plot thread with Gohan. This basically becomes a subplot in this thing that we can go back to. <coughs> So, they need to get everybody get away from the transfer everybody back to the lookout. And then they says it's okay to spot back into second place, but it's okay bring everybody up here. So, pretty much everybody comes to like basically 18, Marin, Boma, Chi Chi, Ox King, Videl, and Yamcha all get transported to the lookout. But, that, like, of course, Videl's like, Are you coming? Like, yeah, yeah. And of course, she grabs onto Boma. And she has, when, when they were looking for the Dragon Balls, she refers to Boma as, get her old girl, and she doesn't like it very much, and Ball goes up, and Ball, Ball is one of the balls to jump in the water, and basically we have Fidel going after the ball, because she's brave, and Chi Chi's like, yeah, I don't want anything to happen to my future daughter-in-law, so basically help her along with Yamcha, who's like, man, I gotta put your clothes on. Yeah, <laughs> that was so funny. Anyways, every reason for what happened with Vegeta, and Gohan. Chi Chi, of course, faints like usual. Boma, of course, is rightfully upset what happened with her husband. And so basically, Trunks and Gohan are informed basically what's going on. And despite the fact they want to grieve for what happened with, well, Gohan with, with Goten grieving over the death of his bro apparent death of his brother, and Trunks over the death of his father, basically, Goku's like, stop crying. And cry later. So we need to teach you the fusion technique. Yep, the fusion technique. And first, basically, channeling their energy. And yeah, channels their energy gives the same, and then form the fusion dance. And Goku shows up, and of course, he has pickled team. The pickles like what? <laughs> and he's actually embarrassed by this. Yes, Piccolo is embarrassed to do the fusion dance, which by the way, he does it twice. And he's sweating like crazy. I mean, is it hot up in the lookout? <laughs> yeah. Also, I like it where... I forgot to mention when, when they were crashing, thanks to Yamcha. 18 basically hands off Marin to Videl. And 18 flies out and catches the airplane they're in. And gives it, gives it a good landing. And Marin's like so happy the fact her mommy basically got a good landing. Out of the plane. Yeah, of course, the G scene later bit where you have Chi Chi and Videl play with Mara, which I think is so adorable. Such a great little scene. So, basically, and when when they find out when he. And of course, then Maj Boo and Bobbity proceed to go on a rampage. Like, oh my gosh. Like, Boo turns people into candy. First candy turns them into is gumballs. Yep. Freaking gumballs. And he eats them and swallows them. And he does with various cities. And this is like this for a good period of time. But most of Saga he's doing this. Especially with Bobbity. And then basically since they found out where Trunks lives. Which is West City. They proceed to have Trunks go get the dragon radar. And and Goku go confront Majibu as, as a distraction. So he proceeds to do the whole showing the fundamentals of Super Saiyan. Does Super Saiyan 1, and then Super Saiyan 2, and, and, and of course, Bobbity points, hey, your hair changed a little bit, and then when he goes Super Saiyan 3, which apparently eats up a lot of his time, he, and Bobbity points, hey, you, your hair just grew long. That's it. That's all happened. Yeah. And of course, Bobby tells him, tells Boo, give him a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> and they have a brief fight. And King Kai is like, no, stop fighting. Stop fighting him and get out of that form. We're going to eat up all your time. Yep. 
And then he gets back to look after he basically gets Trunks enough time. Trunks is later told that the Dragon Radar is not inside the Capsule Corp building, but actually inside the airplane. Yep. He finds it, no problem, and they retrieve back. Of course, Goku's like, good. Now, bye. And he basically just flies back, gets back to the base form, and apparently he thinks so. He has, he has less than an hour. Baba shows up, tells him, yeah, you actually have 30 minutes. So that's what we teach in the future technique. And, and of course, well, then we have it where they run out of time. And when he shows, he does one more time the all three same forms. And he has to go back to other world. Of course, he's getting tired. And he gives he gives Chi Chi a hug, gives he gives Goten a hug, and Videl tells him before he leaves that she has a she basically thinks that Gohan is alive, and she says he feels in her heart because she's in love with him. That's why, and Goku takes it takes it takes it takes takes note of that, and. Goes back to other world, goes to see King Yama, and says, "Hey, is my did my son pass through here?" The go pass through. He's like, "Your son? Nope, didn't pass through here, but the King of Demons did." And he says, "Oh yeah," and send him straight to hell because demon, I I passed in the heavens, stamped him right up, and he goes off. Don't worry, he does pop up one more time after this, and that's it. And apparently, there's a lot of people coming to this place because Boo is killing a lot of people. Also. Goku tells Boo, why are you taking over some property for? You're, he's weaker than you. And right after Goku leaves him, Boo proceeds to grab Bobbity by the neck and blow and basically punch his head clean off. And then throws his body in the water. And that's, let's see, of the wizard Bobbity. He is now. I think he's mentioned a couple times after that, but yeah, he is never seen again in the series. He's killed and never resurrected, despite the fact he is one of Boo's victims. He is never brought back. He's not even seen in the aftermath, which I thought that was kind of weird. He doesn't even pop up in GT. Like, what was he? That forgettable villain? Yeah. So he proceeds to continue his rampage, destroying a lot of cities, and then of course, like. Okay, we have Mr. Satan, where apparently, since the one martial arts, apparently he's been training underground to go confront Boo. And Boo basically takes him, like, okay, after the he's like, he's getting tired, so... He proceeds to turn a whole small town into his house. Yep. And he lives by himself in his weird funnel house. Yeah, he makes this thing. I mean, the way the house looks, it looks like one of the houses you would see in the show from the planet Namek. It looks very similar, except it's like a long tube. Yeah, and the way this house, they basically have to climb over this hole, which is basically a little above the ground. Like, wow, that's quite something. And then he eats, and you basically see him just brush his teeth. Go, well, you see one number two, takes a bath, he brushes his teeth. Basically, a good educational moment. Then he proceeds to sleep in his weird chair, and he's asleep for, I would say, no more than probably about five minutes. And he thinks he slept a whole day. He didn't. He only slept for five minutes, and he thinks as though it's been like a day passed by. It really hasn't. Oh yeah, we'll be here tomorrow. Yeah, then he goes back to rampaging, and Mr. Satan shows up at his place, and he does basically. Of course, Boo is actually not home. Boo does show up, and he becomes very friendly with him. But part of this, basically, we have Goat, we have Trunks and Goat to actually perfect the truth, I think. Uh, at the few moments, basically, a few transforming, they finally get it right, and they they reveal it to be Goat Tank. Goat Tank. Yep, that character's debut. And as soon as he's like, finish the bullet, yeah, I'm going to confront Mars Boo now. And he proceeds to fight Boo. Briefly. And he gets his butt handed to him. He doesn't. He doesn't get killed per se, though. He, a lot of people in the military kill. And of course, he flies back. And Bulma receives the tree after he defuses. Bulma treats his injuries, and Go Tank gets a spanky from his mother. Yes. Yeah, I really don't like seeing spankings in the show. It really looks kind of like cringe worthy to see. I mean, you see a little kid get a spanking. Or flying off recklessly. Goten didn't do anything wrong. It's mostly all trunks doing all, all, all the driving. 
and then they fuse again, and they transform into Super Saiyan. And of course, he proceeds to fly around the planet eight times. Which the way they, they he does it, it looks very similar to what Superman did in the first Super movie. We wrapped on the planet like eight times. It looks like they turn back time. Nope, he didn't. And then he confronts Boo, and of course he fires a shot at Boo's house. And Boo is of course taking reading time with Mr. Satan. And he's like, "Who is our Boo's reading time?" And of course he's reading a war story. Which I'm like, like that's interesting. That's kind of an odd story reading somebody with a shallow personality. Yep. And meanwhile, we have these two gunmen, basically shooting people, just cause. Boo, of course, flies at one point while, while Mr. St. Paris him dinner, and he comes back with a puppy, who he names B, and of course, he also heals a broken leg. Makes him all better, too. And of course, B loves him. He likes him, so keeps him. Of course, Mr. Satan proceeds, uh, of course, prior to this, he, he gives Dragon Poison candy, doesn't work, exploited video games, that doesn't work either. So, like, okay, then eventually, like, and then, of course, he's that he was going to blow up Boo, and then he proceeds, like, nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go get the dog food. And Boo tries to eat it, but he finds it disgusting. And then the gunmen show up at his house, of course, Piccolo, knowing that, well, he's not going to he just sort of waste energy. And, of course, they, they fly back, and don't worry, they show up right next saga. And of course, they fly, but don't confront Boo. They just basically get fire a shot at his house, and that's it. Yeah, and, of course, the gunmen show up, and the saga ends with them shooting the dog. Yep, they shoot the dog. And Boo gets angry. Also, prior to this, he had vowed, he told, like, of course, Mr. Satan asked him, like, why do you kill people and destroy cities? And he's like, Bobbity told me to. And he's like, okay, don't do that anymore. It's not it's not a good thing to do. And he's like, it's not good to kill people and destroy cities? And he's like, I will never destroy a city again, and I won't kill more people. He's like, Cool. And he's like, I just saved the world without throwing a punch. <laughs> That's Mr. Satan for you. At least this part is actually true. He didn't make this up on the fly. And that's when the government show up and should be. Like, right after that. Yeah, this arc is actually pretty good. Aside from the fact we have the debut Mars, Boo, Gold Tank, and the Fuse technique, and we also have the debut of Super Saiyan 3. Not much else debuts in this particular saga. No, not... Well, yeah, also, there's one other thing. There's one character problem I'm here. Now, Gohan basically is trained. Now, when Gohan Goku gets back, he basically tracks down. He finds that, yeah, he he thinks that Videl was right. Gohan is alive. So he used in transmission and transforms himself to the, the Kai's home world. And Kabito asks, tries to ask the question, like, how did you get here? And he also doesn't bother to ask the question to Goku, like, how am I alive? And Goku will probably respond with, you probably brought back with the Dragon Balls. He's like, what? What are the Dragon Balls? And he proceeded to tell him. And the thing is, he's never told. He is never told of how he got there or how he was resurrected. Gabito is just basically, like, dumbfounded the fact he was resurrected. Yeah. And, of course, we have Gohan trained with his Z sword. He slices up a rock that Goku was sitting on. And then Supreme Kai summons the the heaviest, the strongest metal in the universe, and it actually throws the Z-Sword at, Go, throws it at Go, Gohan, who proceeds to break the Z-Sword, and of course he drops it, of course he realizes that he gets a little bit stronger, he's supposed to be strong with a sword, and as he does get a little stronger, and then the sword shakes, and then we see like an older version of the Kai we know, and this is basically the Supreme Kai from 15 generations back. How he got his look, basically how he is, and the earrings he wears, that is not explained until later. Yeah, that's not explained in the very next saga. Yeah, apparently no enemy of his, someone who's just as powerful as Boo, trapped him in the Z-Sword and he proceeds to do his little dance. He, of course, Gohan's embarrassed by this. Or it takes five hours. And Goku's like, I'm going to take a nap. Sleeps for two hours. Get up, he's like, man, I got three hours left. And then, of course, he goes back to sleep and he gets up. Yeah, and then he finishes up and he has 20 hours of meditation. Yep. So yeah, we have debuted roughly three new characters, a new technique, an object, the Z-Sword, which only pops off for a few episodes before it's destroyed, and the debut of a new planet. Let's see, anything else new in this one? No, not really. This fact that they do kill off two characters here, though one of them does come back later, and they only seen once after this, and that's pretty much it. 
Yeah, it's interesting in the Modern Moose Saga basically did this. Now, Fusion does debut a couple new characters. I look forward to talking about the Fusion Saga tomorrow. Well, whenever I get a chance to finish it, because tomorrow I'm going to first do the review for the last four episodes of In the World with my smartphone. Okay, so that's it for this particular review. My next review will be a comic corner on Dance Cup Trades. Okay, do the next video. Bye.